Hi everyone, Vacha here from Recording Studio 9 and thanks for joining me again today. Today's video is about how we can make music using virtual instrument in Studio 1 version 4 Prime Edition, the free DAW. Of course, that means you can also use it in any of the other editions like the Artist on the Professional using a very basic simple MIDI keyboard controller that connects using a USB plug onto our PC. Now, if you didn't know already, MIDI keyboard controllers that connect through USB, whether small one like this Arturia Analog MIDI Lab, or even the big one behind there, they're just MIDI controllers. They don't make sounds. All the sounds come from our DAW and we have to use a virtual instrument. So what is a virtual instrument? As it says, it's a virtual instrument. Basically, a software inside your recording software, like the Digital Audio Workstation, or the DAW, that receives notes from our MIDI controller and plays those notes as sounds coming out of our DAW. Studio One version 4 Prime Edition from Personas only comes with one VST instrument which is the Presence XT. But don't let that stop you because it has and includes variety of instruments from drums, to bass, pianos, guitars, strings, and a whole heap more within that one virtual instrument. As we know, we cannot add any other VST instruments in the Prime Edition, but in Artist Edition, you get few more included and in the professional edition, you can have any third-party VST instrument as well. So keep that in mind. But today, we are looking at the Prime Edition with Presence XT. Most MIDI controller keyboards, small one or the big one, usually don't need even drivers. You just plug it in and your computer, uh, Windows or Mac, will actually recognize that it's a MIDI keyboard and make it work without any problem. If your keyboard controller does come with a driver, make sure you install that first before you proceed to the next stage. So let me connect this to my laptop and then we go onto my laptop onto Studio One version 4 Prime Edition and I'll show you how to configure the keyboard in that software. Once we have our MIDI controller connected onto our PC and we run Studio One, in this case Prime Edition, and we get our sort of uh, opening welcome screen. Right at the bottom, we have configure audio device. So we need to configure not only our audio device, but also our external devices. But we can have access to this by clicking configure audio device. So here we are able to select our audio interface. And in this case, I have my Yamaha AG0T uh, selected, which is fine. So for our MIDI keyboard, we need to go into external devices. Here we can click add. Now my keyboard, which is Arturia Minilab, for some reason, even though it's well known, it's not in the list. Again, it's fine. This is better because now if you have a MIDI keyboard controller which is not in the list, this will show you how we can add it. Well, we just click on new keyboard. Manufacturer, let's uh, our tour. Yeah, and give it a name, call it Mi, Mi, Mini Lab. And then we want to receive from all the channels, and we want to receive from, there we go, Arturia Mini Lab. Normally, you don't want to filter anything out, that means it will ignore those messages, but we're going to make sure that we receive all messages. And even though we're not going to send anything to it back, it's always a good idea to actually select it output as well, which is fine. And we can say that it's the default instrument input. That way, every time we do create a new virtual instrument track, it will automatically default to that keyboard, unless you've got multiple keyboards. So once we've got all of that sorted out, we click OK. So now we have a Turia Mini Lab all connected, ready to go. And we click OK. So let's create a new song. Um, MIDI key 
export demo. And here we just leave everything as it is. Of course, you would set this up the way you like it for your songs to be. I'm going to leave it the way it is at the moment. And we get to our blank song project. When a blank project is open, Studio One automatically goes into the Home tab. And here we can have instruments, effects, loops, files, cloud and pool, which will go through them at a later date. But the important one for today's video is instruments. That's what we're looking at. So we can click. This will take us to the instrument tab. And as I mentioned in a Prime Edition, there is only one virtual instrument available, which is the Presence XT. Okay. In artist version, there is a few others added to it. And you cannot still add any third party virtual instruments unless you buy a VST add on feature. But in pro version, you can have all of it, including third party instruments. So to create one, we can either click and drag this instrument and then select what sound we want. But in this case, we can click on the arrow. And we can see we've got artist instrument. We can click on that. And now we have all the different instrument types. So in this one, let's say I want to create some drums. I open that. We have a basic, a basic kit, classic kits, uh, and so on. There's quite a few of them that we can actually use. So let's start with the basic kit. I'm just going to click with my uh, left click and drag it onto here and let the mouse go and here we go it's all ready to go to play our basic drum kit now if we did not have any midi keyboard we can certainly use our mouse to make the sound but that's a little bit uh, daunting task so we're going to use the keyboard to actually play some drum beats now, when you open up Presence XT and your screen does not look like mine here, if you are missing the keyboard, it could be the fact that these two buttons here, Show Keyboard, might be disabled. So you can click and you can actually get your keyboard back. And also is the Mode and Effects button, which is this bottom window here that we can turn it on and off. Now, modern effects is something that we can look at in the future, where we could actually have uh, modulation, delay, reverb, gator, EQ, and distortion, and panning, and so on, as well as MIDI modifiers for 16 MIDI channels. We'll look at that at a later date. So at the moment, I'm just going to turn them off and have my keyboard. Now, here's another thing. In case uh, you've got the you know, Presence XT open and you click the X, and it disappears off the screen, to get it back, all you need to do is click on this instrument editor icon. We click, one click, left click, and then we get it back. So that's how we can actually close it, and it will still work, but it's just hidden in the background, and when we want to edit it, we can click on that and regain the view of our Presence XD. Here's a question that I get asked all the time, that people say they've added Present XD as a virtual instrument or any other virtual instrument on the other editions of Studio One, and they don't get any sound. Now, the first thing you need to do, make sure you've got the keyboard open, and then you can play the sounds from the keyboard with the mouse. If you're not hearing anything by then, you got to check your audio interface, making sure that it is configured correctly. The input and output metrics is configured correctly. Even without any MIDI keyboard, you should be able to click all the um, buttons on the keyboard with the mouse and be able to hear it. So if you can hear the sound from the mouse, but you cannot hear anything from the keyboard, one thing to check is this monitor button here on the instrument track. I'm just going to disable it. As you can see, with using the mouse, I can still hear the sound, but when I actually press the keyboard, I cannot hear it. Even though I can see a MIDI signal coming in, that signal going up, that orange, is 
the MIDI signal being received, but no sound. That's only because monitor is not enabled. As soon as I click enable, now I can hear it. So those are the things that you need to check. Make sure that you get a sound when you're using the mouse. And then if you are, that means your output to the speakers, audio interface is configured correctly. And if you get sound from the keyboard, that means it's all good, ready to go to record your MIDI notes onto your track. If not, check the monitor option, because without it, nothing. Of course, we have to make sure that we are receiving MIDI signals as well. If not, then go back and double check your device that I showed you earlier. And that's how we can get sound out of our Studio One Presence XT VST in Virtual Instrument module. Here's a quick example of how you can actually use Presence XT multiple times with different instruments on different tracks to actually create your music. Very, very simple as I've done. I've got drums, bass, piano, and strings. I've added just very simple notes in there, but you gotta make sure that you have as many instruments as the different sounds you have. Obviously, you cannot use the same instant of Presence XT to create different sounds. As we can see, I've got Presence, Presence 2, Presence 3, Presence 4. There are four instances of them and all have different sounds. So let's have a listen and, um, and this will take us out. Well, I hope this helped you out. If it did, make sure you give me the thumbs up. And if you have any further questions about this topic, use the comment section below and I'm more than happy to answer them for you. Till next time, as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Cheerio.